Hey, my name is Joe Lombardo. I um, was once asked by the real players who was one of the best trainers ever been around. And one of the best trainers ever been around was Joe T. Ray. Yeah, I'm at the puppet station in New Orleans East, and this was Joe T. Ray's training ground. He had cut a path through here, right along the canal, and trained his horses right here. I'm standing at the old location where the barn was, Ten Horse Barn, and then he had the walking wheel over here. And uh, Joe was a very high percentage train. He trained at all the local tracks in Louisiana. And uh, he trained right here on side the pumping station. You know, that's what they cut a they cut a path through here, and that's where he trained at. You know, he went to the track to blow his horses out now, but he trained his horses right here. Joe was known as an excellent rider in New Orleans, one of the best. And he caught the attention of Tony, Mr. Graffanini, who had Tony Graff that won the Louisiana Derby. And Joe galloped the horse for the whole meet up to the Louisiana Derby. In 1960, Tony Graff defeated unbeaten and heavily favored Yorktown in the Louisiana Derby. Tony Graff was the kind of horse that needed an experienced professional exercise rider, so trainer Tony Graffanini chose Joe T. Ray for the job. Joe T. Ray set to work and got Tony Graff to relax and gallop three or more days a week. After a month, Joe told Tony and his father, not if you win, but when you win the Louisiana Derby, I want a new car. In the Derby, Tony Graff was the last of 11 horses after six furlongs. Wayne Chambers went to work, found room, and wore down Yorktown in the final stride.